Here's James Hahn. Uh -huh. Robert, is there anybody else online? Roberta, can you hear me? Yes, I can. So we don't, we, okay, we do have a quorum. So you and Jim are online and James Owen and Steve Harrison are in the chambers. Okay, perfect. All right, we'll wait till James has a seat and then we can begin. Does, just a second, does the intro music work now or not? Okay. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is Roberta Felicki Paneski, and we are at the Redevelopment Authority meeting for the city of Sheboygan. Um, we have uh, with us online, Roberta Felicki Paneski, Chair. And Jim, would you like to introduce yourself? You're muted, Jim. I think it's Jim Conway. Yep. Jim, no, you're I'm muted. Not muted. Good morning. There you go. Good morning. Okay, Jim Conway, our newest member. We'll come back to Jim. And we have Paula Hagerman from uh, Sheboygan Visual Artists. And if you could uh, tell us who's in the chamber, please. Go ahead. Introduce yourself. Steve Harrison. There you go. So it's James Owen, Steve Harrison, Janet, and myself, uh, City Attorney Adams, Heather, Heather Cleveland, and I'm guessing her husband. husband. Okay. And then the person from WSCS. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. We will call the meeting to order. And if you're in the chamber, please stand and we will pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, given the agenda, do we have any conflict of interests that are known? Hearing none, all right. Uh, Chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the April 28th meeting. So moved. Moved by Owen, is there a second? Chair will second. Okay. It was. It was. It was. You didn't hear it. It was a motion by Harrison, second by Owen. Perfect. Motion by Harrison, seconded by Owen, to approve the minutes of the April twenty eighth meeting. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Thank you very much. And now we will do um, a discussion and action on the request from Anglers Avenue to use the RDA owned land adjacent to their building for July 2nd and July 3rd. Uh, the information was in your packet. Uh, do we have any questions? Chad, do you want to add anything? I do. So the um anglers folks are not in the chambers at the time but i did speak with them this is a standard request to use the property as part of the fourth of fourth of july celebration except this year it's july 2nd and july 3rd um, what i will say though is they do not have an extension of premise for their liquor license to go on to this property so the recommendation is a little modified to prove the request subject to them getting the proper other city approvals in order to use the land Okay. They, do you know if that's in process, Chad? 
I don't think it's gonna happen because there, it sounds like there would need to be a special meeting of the licensing hearings and public safety and a special meeting of the Common Council to get it approved because it is not on tonight's agenda. Is that fair, oh. Chuck? Yeah, yeah, so um, basically it's unlikely they'll be able to serve alcohol. Your permission will allow them to serve food and that kind of thing. Uh, and there may be ways around it, but they're just gonna have to be a little more creative than, than they had to be in the past. They won't be able to actually have a beer tent. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, we then will um, vote on granting the extension for food service and the pitching of a tent on RDA land for two days. Uh, I'm assuming that we have a beginning and an end for the tent comes down, et cetera. Yeah, I would believe it would be all down by the Monday afterwards, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay. All right. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Chair will entertain a motion. So moved. Sorry, Steve. Harrison. Harrison moved. Is there a second? Second. Owen oh, seconds. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Any further discussion? Hearing just none, to, all those in Just to confirm, it's, it's yeah. the, the motion is to grant it subject to the other city approvals. Right. Okay. Um, I, I have a question. They can still use it for food if we grant the authority. Yes. Okay, so Chuck, that Chuck gave be. me a thumbs up. Okay. So we can grant for the use of food and serving liquor is subject to other other granting authorities. That is correct. That is correct. All right. Okay. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carries. And as I'm sitting here looking at James Conway in his little rectangle <laughs> let's let's pause james is the james conway we now have two jameses on the board <laughs> i think james conway goes by jim and james right. owen goes by james so we'll call james owen james and james conway jim and then we'll know who we're talking about um jim conway would you like to give a little bit of background welcome to the authority jim was approved by council last week Two weeks ago so Jim give us a little bio oh where do I start when you're this old uh, <laughs> I'm a 78 graduate of Marquette Law School I've been practicing law here in Sheboygan ever since I'm the senior partner at the Olson Cloet Law Firm uh, downtown Sheboygan across the street from the courthouse I do primarily civil work I do not do any criminal or family law but I do business organizations state planning, probate, civil trials, insurance defense, uh, and personal injury work. Perfect, thank you. And Jim and his wife live in the second district. Um, and uh, I've known him for a while. And, and I'm very pleased that he agreed to be considered for the position. So welcome, Jim, appreciate it. Okay. Um, we are at 3.2, discussion and possible action on the facade construction grant requested from the Green Bicycle Company for the building located at 1117 North 8th Street. And uh, I see Heather at the podium. Heather Cleveland, would you like to uh, give us a little discussion here? Yes, so my husband, Adam DeSombre, and I purchased the building in November of 2020 and it was built in 1887. We've done significant amount, uh, amount of um, demolition and restoration work on the interior of the building and we're looking for support on um, remediation of the exterior of the, of the building to bring it back to its historic um, look and then also to restore it, to preserve it um, into the future. So Roberta, if I, if I yes. may ask, add chair, so we funded a facade uh, historic preservation facade uh, project on this. Uh, Heather and her team worked with Jennifer Lurkey 
Um, there was a number of revisions of the plan and got to something that was feasible to build. Um, and the uh, Jennifer has consented to the proposal that's before you guys today. So the request, the project is 159,000 total. Um, the request is for 75,000. Um, we have the latitude to go anywhere between zero and 100,000. We have the budget to do it. Actually, we have some uh, older money, frankly, that needs to be sold. I mean, it needs to be used. So um, the, the recommendation from staff would be to fund this at 75,000. I think Heather and her team have done a very good job of getting to a design that works for everybody and it will be a nice addition to the A Street corridor. Uh, when when Heather talked about uh, having done some um, interior construction, one of one of our things is that you can't have started the project and then come back for money. But this is exterior versus interior. That's that correct. is correct. Okay. Okay, and um, the the project will begin as soon as we bless it and will take place yet this summer or that's correct at time frame my um the next step is to go to the architectural review board and then it'll begin perfect thank you heather okay uh anybody have any other questions of heather or the staff yeah, I just have one additional add. It, it should be noted that these are five-year forgivable loans, so we will work with the attorney's office to draft the paperwork, and then it's if she holds the property for five years, it's fully satisfied and she pays nothing. Okay, so this is really a grant, presuming she will remain in that facility for five years. That's correct. Okay. okay. I'll, make a, I'll make a motion to approve the... Grant, 75,000. Thank you. Thank you, James. Is there a second? Jim will second. Jim second. Thank you, Jim. Okay. James moved and Jim seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. Thank you, motion carries. Heather, good luck. And we look forward to having beautification on 8th Street. So thank you very much. Okay, uh, item 3.3, discussion and possible action on a request from Sheboygan Visual Artists to use the RDA owned land on South Pier to establish an art venue from July 1st through September 30th. And um, authority uh, members, this was the item that was amended to, this was the item that was put on the agenda that caused our agenda to be amended um, because this came in just, just, just after the deadline for the original. So um, Chad, why don't you start us off and we have Paula from Sheboygan Visual Artists online. So um, give us a little background, Chad. Sure, so um, Paula contacted me a couple weeks ago about their interest in setting up what she's calling as an art venue, kind of a pop-up artist um, tent thing, if you will, on the South Pier District for the summer months, particularly July 1st through September 30th. So um, as you can see from the letter, there'll be, a, um, there'll be a number of tents that would just pop up throughout that time frame, an average of five to six tents that will be selling um, arts that art displays and, and different paintings and things that the Sheboygan Visual Artist Group has. So, you know, I think giving what I looked at this is, is kind of fitting into our pop-up shop thing, but more outside and that it brings some more activity to the South Pier district. And who knows, maybe some of these people, if they're successful, will look at opening a storefront in the future. So staff was recommending approval of it to give it a try, um, subject to a insurance policy listing us as an additional insured hold harmless agreement and a $50 charge. but. Um, other than that, I think it, it's just another reason for people to go to the South Pier District. 
Okay, Paula, do you have something to add? I don't. Chad did a very nice job. I appreciate it. We've been oh. working for months on getting together stuff that we think that will interest visitors that will be down here for all the different activities. And um, I think this will be a boon to the businesses even down at South Pier. And we would love to grow this district to have more activity and have uh, more uh, retail shopping. Perfect. Um, I personally have been to the SBA final Fridays when they were being held pre-COVID. Um, and they were always delightful and uh, showed a myriad of talent within our community. So we appreciate what the SBA does. Um, I had an earlier conversation with uh, Amy Horst and said, Amy, who is on this committee but was unable to be here, I said, Amy, what do you think about this? And she was very excited. So um, we appreciate what the SBA is trying to do. Um, Anybody else have any questions of Paula or of staff? Okay, hearing none. Chair will entertain a motion to grant the SBA the use of the property on South Pier, subject to insurances, hold harmless, et cetera. Um, is there a motion to that effect? A motion to approve the commit or the uh, staff recommendation of approval of the land for the Schmoy Thank you. Farms. Harrison moved. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by James Owen. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. I opposed chair votes aye motion carried all it good luck to you and your group and we'll look forward to dropping in to see our little Kent city pop-up shops thank you thank you okay um we have a motion. We will now go into closed session. We need a motion to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in section 19.851E of the Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of a discussion related to a possible business development loan regarding the former ShopGo stores located at 518 South Taylor Drive where competitive and bargaining sessions require a closed session. Chair will entertain that motion. So moved, Harrison. Harrison moves to go into closed session. Is there a second? Second. Jim will say. Jim seconds. Okay, roll call vote. Jim? Here. Jim says aye. Okay. Um, Jane. Aye. Steve. Aye. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. We are now in closed session. Okay, just um, a just a second. Sure. Just just a minute. Let me ask Chuck a question. So I don't know if so. It's we have it on the agenda to go back into open session, but. Um, we're going to have to get an application, and this is really just a preliminary discussion, so I think we're going to end up adjourning in closed session. If we're still negotiating, then we can we can adjourn in closed session. Okay. Yeah. So we won't be coming back into open session, so this would end our broadcasting. Okay. Thank you. We will end the broadcast. Thank you for the clarification. Okay. Uh, we are now in closed session, and um, wait, wait. This is, wait, wait a second. Wait, okay, we, we have to wait. 